and I th again, like, that's like the barometer because we've seen that TSM matchup happen a couple times. And then the other matchup but that was notable was against C9, who had a very aggressive duelist based style, which really seemed to blow up the defaults of, of Dig. So we'll see exactly how that factors into this game as we start things off here on Bind. I'm going to be, I mean, I, I love Bind actually as a start or a finish. Uh, there, there's something about it, even though it feels like one of the more simple maps. Yep. It's, it's just, uh, it, there's so much tension. Uh, something about Bind that I love is seeing the omens instead of brimstones. Yep. We have the Sovas, the Phoenixes, and we'll see how many of those are on teams. Actually, no Phoenixes. I feel like run it back teleport plays are something you can use to a huge advantage, but it is on an alt. It is kind of a risk to go for that play, and teams can expect it. But we'll see what happens here for first round. You always watch towards B to see if someone's getting an early look on defense to teleport through. Doesn't look like that's happening just yet. And we do see Envy here setting up with Calypso in the U-Haul. May smoke over towards the bathhouse just to get things started and deny some pressure. Let's see how they do it. Yeah, it's already the image smoke mm -hmm. defensively to the end of showers. That used to, uh, as you mentioned, we used to see the brims, and that used to be a brim smoke to deny info there. But a contact up the short A position here, but there's a three man play around that for Envy to defend. And Shanks with that classic dash into the shorty, and that's Mummy down. But there is the trade. Clips is going to shut it down, and the, the wall is there, though, to get. Uh, gain entrance towards the A site to get that plant going, but Akis is lurking right oh. behind the smoke and he's actually managed to tag and prevent the spike from going down just for a moment, but it will eventually get planted and there we go. The flank's not working out too, too well for Finesse, but he's managed to make his way around. They know that he's here though. Yeah, Cypher finding Cypher there. Uh, Finesse on the flank. Dig doing a great job of making quick work of the site here. And he'll be able to run around knowing this is decently safe. And now has to play towards that short side. So overall, a, a great strat here. Dig going a little bit more aggressive than they thought they would on the first round, which I think is really great to put in the minds of Envy. We can see Dig going for these strats towards B. This is the first time we really see that fast strat pistol towards A, and it looks like they're going to be able to pick this up as FNS just cannot make it work for pistol round. I really like the... the um wall going down across the U-Haul there, as opposed to, you know, putting it down yeah. between the APC and pocket, which is most commonly what happens to prevent people running through the smokes. But, uh, you know, U-Haul control on the pistol is definitely a bit of a different story than it is on gun rounds. And so it's kind of a cool dynamic there. And that worked out really nicely there for Dig to help them secure the round. And we're going to get the force up here coming in from Envy. That's, that's always going to be fun. Ooh. Judge, a stinger. I'm liking this. Where's Akis going to go here? He puts up the turret and a bot. Oh, so he's looking to get everything activated and he'll go back to showers maybe and hold the shot. So it's going to be a B work. Great cam coming in from the side of Dignitas as they make their way in. FNS trying to get a little bit of early info as they clear the hookah. And uh, there's another cam in hookah as well that's going to see them. A good kill from Mummy as he gets traded back to start things off. And ground is gained towards the garden, but they haven't necessarily committed fully just yet. They know the rotation will be on the way. They could go for the tele play. That they is could. open to them. They still haven't committed that spike, but now they start to move forwards. The wall goes up towards that elbow position to block that oh. off. But here comes Akis. Oh, no. Denied by the ghost of all the weapons on the team. It's Shanks with the ghost to deny that play. That could have been everything, but instead it will be nothing for Envy. And this force buy is looking a little lackluster, and that's very unfortunate for them. And once again, Finesse is alone. Wow, Shanks with that ghost shot, as you said. Not expecting him to be able to take down a judge right away. Quick shots to the face. Now FNS finds the shins of Shanks, and he takes him down, but Poise will answer back. A few quick rounds there. Expected Dig to get this as well, even over that buy from Envy. So we'll see them save up here, maybe go for some quick ghosts, a frenzy, a sheriff, and... Yeah, that's still going to hurt. Yeah, they're getting more money as they lose, but they're still betting on a few buys and a few headshots to come out. And one quick note that's an interesting fact is that Dig are running the same composition as we saw them when they played TSM on this on Bind, and they got absolutely stomped by TSM, and they had yeah. a lot of problems. And their response to that was that TSM prepared and anti strutted them nicely, but we'll have to see what research Envy have been able to do with the limited time they've had to prepare for this one and for Dig. And again, it's going to be a short contact play. This is going to have the daggers right behind it as well in the hands of Shanks. And he's looking to get a nice entry there. And that's exactly what he'll find. u haul control immediately. This is looking real smooth for Dig. That's what you like to see. The aggression coming out, knowing it's a pistol round. Do not give your opponents any respect. As Shanks working the daggers. Gets another kill with the shorty for a 3K on him. They're going to give him the ace as Calypso stops that from happening with a ghost shot to the face of Shanks. 
That's nice. Uh, I like the, the idea to have the, the daggers out, not really an investment apart from the, the alt there from Shanks, looking for that operator eventually. And it allows you to make that dash play across the U-Haul, which can be a sticking point sometimes when you go for that A play. So I like how simplified that is. And a lot of teams might actually end up stacking towards the B side at the beginning. So you get a lot of info yep. out of Jet and also the, the, the kind of crazy clutch you know, twitch skill potential around that U-Haul position from your star Jet player who can potentially open things up or discover that maybe there's no one there. And if Shanks was to die, there's you know they can still like eat very easily reset out of that without having lost too much. So I like that as an anti-eco approach Absolutely. there from Dig. It's pretty cool. Now we'll see that first gun round come in. Calypso still been playing over towards A. We haven't really had any orb farming this game either. The teams are trying to just play in the opening shots here. Daggers on the eco round of Envy and Dig runs through clean. One quick thing to notice, well, actually, for, for those of you that are oh, maybe aspiring jet players, is notice mm -hmm. how Shanks kind of jumped and then drifted, which will kind of mess up the crosshair placement for the opponent who's who's waiting for Shanks to come around the corner. You're always trying to get in the head of your opponent, right? Cover Do something out. different. Make them think that you're going to be making a different play. Or I guess you take it unexpectedly. A minute 30 is all the time they have to work with here, and it looks like it's going to be a slower round, at least towards C with Brim on the flank. Bombs down, though, so that's why I say slow round here coming in from Dignitas. They hit. Looking for intel, play the cams, figure out where those cameras might be or who they might be finding at what site. Shadows. There's lots of options here. What's really interesting is that Dig, instead of leaving Cypher towards bathrooms, they actually have their Brim there. And normally if you see the Cypher who's working the bathrooms by himself, you can you can tell that that's you know the, the Lurk player in the default. Mm -hmm. And they have the Spike down in Market as well. So they have a lot of options here, given that they did clear bathrooms. It looks like they will fall back out of that position, though. But there was always that potential that if they get that forward presence there, that they could Shadows. make the Tully play across. Absolutely. So lots of options here for Dig, but they are just sitting on top of the Tully still as the Spike is collected by their Brim. They have res here, but now it gets in a pretty sticky spot. If they're going fast, you don't have much time to res or get that utility out. Shanks opens one up as Calypso may get a rotation on that teleporter. Back into sight. Mummy trying to do work as Som answers back on that off in the back of the site, but it's up to FNS. He's been put in this position before and comes up big. Yeah, huge kills coming forth, and now Shanks is left alone here. And one versus three with that operator in hand, the spike is lost on the site. So if Shanks wants to win this round, he's going to have to find his way onto the site, which at this point, especially with that smoke that's freshly placed there for 15 seconds, it's not going to happen at this point. So Shanks will just have to save. And it was a cool round from Dig, actually. I think you know they were looking to punish an information play yeah. on B long. And if that was to happen, then they, they can then just burst onto the site and win the round that way. So that that could actually be an anti-strat from Dig. It could be the case that if they've noticed that if MV don't get any info yep. early round at all, that, that maybe that's the first port of call that MV try to push that. You set up a trap to, to anti-strat that, but either way, it didn't work out in that sense. You can see how quickly uh, Envy were rotating with Calypso seeing nothing over towards that A side. You're right, it kind of just gave him the idea. Dignitas is here, not too much action around the map. And I think that's good that we're seeing Envy push up. It seems like Dig's been able to go to a site, not have too much of a flank, and, and get into it with all of their members. Here we have on that flank FNS waiting off on the side of Bath. And it's the same setup here on A with utility, but they will add and take away Cypher back and forth as we see now running back to the other site goes Def to get himself back in position. Oh, sorry, FNS. Oh, no, this is scary. Mummy's going to take down Shanks. That's unfortunate. There is the res from Poise, but not necessarily the res he wanted to burn. We'll have to see, though, if that's going to matter too much. It seems to be the case that yeah. Shanks can get out of there for free. And now, a minute left, Envy understand that they just effectively stopped a, a push. And now Dig have to make a hard choice. So they reset all the way back towards the A site, and you can see they do begin to rotate. Or do they just wait towards the B side of the map and then re-exec onto the B site? So they, they've opted for the for the former. We'll have to see if that's going to work out for them, because now we can see Envy. They're starting to question it. They're starting to rotate players back. And they do have Killjoy utility around yeah. here as well. Def's letting them know he can hear that utility too. So it's a bit set up on A once he takes out that bot. Envy might know the rotation's coming as Shanks gets the first shot. Remember, it's night and day when Shanks can open up first, but it's FNS coming back with one as he uses Neuroplink. And he gets a corpse. What can they do with it? 
Oh, they're going to try to push him out of this U position. Oh, oh no. Finesse a Whoa. little bit too far forward there. Does get caught out by the Molly. That's really unfortunate for him. And that's a huge loss there for Envy. But they are not down and out just yet. Great kill on the flank as Caboose rolls through that A-short position. Starts to put the pressure on. Shaq's holding on to the U-Haul spot as Caboose keeps charging forwards. Finally taken down. But Mame is reliable as ever in the one versus one now. Shanks in that 1v1 updraft there to try to confuse things. Pulling out the classic is Mame. And that's going to be a success. That was intense. But Envy, they, I, I don't know if it's those overtimes, but Mame, he's hes powered up, man. Yeah, he also is feeling it. He says, I know you're a jet. What are you going to do? I'm in your head. Getting a little bit of a tactical crouch there to keep himself in a good mental space. And now it's three to two. We're going to see a switch up here. The mummy heading towards that right side. We'll see a quick replay on this. This shot is just, I'm shooting towards the corner. If there's follow-up, there's follow-up. What an aim there as they took out U-Haul. And using the op like a shotgun. Okay, mummy. Or Shanks, rather. Oh, my God. Such a scary position to be in. Mummy played it really well, though. Great uh, cloud burst there. And Envy, they're right back in it. Yep. Some great, re a great retake. It felt like Diggers has a lot of advantages, but Envy, they look really on point right now. Maybe that warm-up we were talking about, all playing five maps in a row, has really benefited them. Looks like they get to bank a little money here. Bladestorm quickly activated by Shanks as he's over towards A. He's going to be the floater now. The drone clear through you with Shanks behind it with the daggers out, ready Ooh. to go. And Ooh. beautiful. Great execution there. Holds on to this position. And they have the post plant to play now as well. So Digger in a pretty damn good spot. Envy, of course, do have a lot of firepower behind this retake still, but it will be difficult. And they only they do have a raise ult to work with as well. So in comes Caboose. We'll have to see if he's able to use that. It's not blades versus blades, but there's a possibility if we do see. That get pulled out by Mummy. FNS finds a shot. Outside. Oh my god, he takes him out before he can get the raise alt off. Beautifully done, and it looks like it's only going to be Killjoy left on the side of Envy. Akis can't make it happen. What a hit there by Dig. I thought Envy was going to be able to scatter that nicely. Oh, did that raise nerf with the, the rocket, the, the draw time. What is it, 1.1 oh to 1.4? It, it's honestly just destroying Woo. lives right now. That This is unbelievable here from Shanks, getting a 3k. The first two, sure, but look how long the ult seem to be out for. But And you know that Caboose is spamming that uh, spamming yep. mouse one to shoot that rocket. And, oh, that's so heartbreaking there for Envy on the retake. And now they're down in the doldrums with only pistols to work with as they go for a save. Let's see where they decide to stack a few of these. Could be a teleport out here if things are seen. No, they will stay back. Envy looked like they were moving quick, but it's just for a peek. Shanks to open up. Doesn't need the op to make it happen here. Feeling confident on that save round for Envy. And it's going to be a quick hit here for Dignitas as they make their way into A site. Superman on the flank is going to make sure nothing happens on that side. So just trying to delete some guns out of the hands of Dig here on the rotation out. We'll see if Envy can get those exit frags. Yeah, it would be really nice to even just steal away one weapon. It's, yeah. it's uh, a nice objective, but I think in this instance, they're so far away, it's hard to find that, that catch. Usually what teams will do is they'll, they won't necessarily risk it too much, knowing that you're on pistols. They'll try to figure out, okay, what's safe? And yep. they've, they've already secured bathrooms there. You can see that on the minimap. So everybody exits through the same position as opposed to spreading out to eliminate the possibility that Envy could have a trap somewhere that they could spring to get a kill and a weapon saved into the next round. With that oh said. Oh my <laughs> word. There goes Tom. <laughs> so I'm looking for more. Quick bounce on that. He's going to walk right through and get a third one on FNS, making sure none of these guns are lost on the side of Dignitas. Five to two now. As we come into round number eight, Dig's feeling pretty good. Money in their pocket, as you can see on the bottom side. They have a few rounds to play with. And again, a bit of a money hurt here. They are going to be able to buy on the side of Envy, but it's low for those funds. One thing maybe worth mentioning, a smaller detail, is that Mame's only got the light armor, so a phantom shot at range to the head will take him down in one bullet. That's, uh, but he has the operator, so that's really what counts. And it's going to be a short B pressure coming in. And, oh, wow, immediate teleport, actually. Don't see that all the time. And, oh, we get the ult as well for a positional play coming through from Envy, trying to steal that away, but we get the... The, uh, the orbital strike there to take down Akis right in the telly, so they're going to call that play instantly, yep. all for all. And looks like Envy are, are going to be definitely coming off worse out of this exchange. 
Everything's behind Dignitas here for what would be a rotation from A from Envy. And the fact that D uh, Envy has their trap set up on B may be huge here. If they can play it slow, however, pushing out, we're going to see if this plagues FNS. He's now in a one-and-done position, but can he take down more? He's hoping to be able to give the team intel here. He's getting peeked out. He's not going to be able to make the shot on Psalm. Psalm coming from last round, still continuing that top-notch aim. And it's going to be B site here for Dig as they pile in. Is there uh, anything for Envy to do in this situation apart from save the guns? Doesn't really look like they're in position to do any exit kills or nope. anything like that. They're, they really need to look after their own economy here. They will have that Envy, or rather, sorry, Dig in that TSM matchup. Mm -hmm. We were all expecting that Dig would win that comfort pick for them, which was the binds. So it's, for me at least, it's not too surprising that they look comfortable on yeah. binds. I think, uh, you know, Envy aren't definitely in, in the best place. I feel like Dig have put themselves in loads of favorable positions, and it's actually been Envy who have been shooting their way out of those positions as opposed to in a macro sense, setting themselves up a little bit better. But Absolutely, GDK. We'll see if there's a recovery here. It's two against six for Envy. And here comes another contact free short A from Dig. Again, that wall for U-Haul. You love to see it, especially on the eco rounds. And it looks like they're actually going to give themselves a teleport here. They didn't give much time for the other team to teleport. And now Calypso's still in the hut, or still in hookah, rather. Gets three for himself. Now watches one in sight, getting flanked from both sides here. But he's still trying to make the play as his team rotates over. Oh, the baiting here. <laughs> the baiting from Psalm eventually takes him down. And Akis also will fall to Psalm. He seems to be on point so far. And... That's a Hunter's Fury available, and that will be amazing in this 2v2 post plant if he can get position. But swinging around the corner, who else but Mame with the daggers finds the headshot instantly on Sam, not giving him any option to get out of that position after the plant, leaving it all on Death here. Let's see if Death can find a way to play this position. Does he have a cam to work with? I don't think that he does. So he's going to have to do this off of just pure gunplay, baiting the angles. And this is not a great swing to take against Hooker. We'll see if he can make it work, though. Cypher against Cypher. The dagger's still out there on Chax as well. And oh my gosh. Death finds the timing. Finesse looking towards Garden, covering for oh, money. He's, he's sticking it, though. It. He is sticking it all the way. Outplayed. Death didn't know anything about that. And oh, Mummy makes it thank worse. Thank you very much. Dagger to the head. That DDK, I can't express how huge of a round that was for Envy and how well they predicted that. Dig walked into the only phantoms that Envy had, and that was in Hookah. What a prediction, what a play, and Dig even tried to fake that A with a wall. Yeah, this is, wow. this is amazing. <laughs> it's uh, so unlucky for Dig. They're going to really be sad about yeah. this one. As you say, <laughs> like it couldn't really have gone more perfectly for Envy. But at the same time, we can't deny just the level of skill, again, that seems to be saving Envy here. Absolutely. And I think if, if they're able to somehow turn this map around with that, the chances for them to win this series, I think, really rise dramatically here. Dig really need binds to go their way. Really nicely done. Hunter's Fury coming out. Oh, making him dance. Going to try to get a peek with this. I like that, being able to shoot it under hookah and allow people in hookah to fire. And they start to push out here, just slowly towards bath. And the shot from hookah goes in onto Shanks, the jet for jet, and that's going to be won by Envy. And this is actually looking pretty scary here for Dig. They will execute, or try to at least, onto this A side. But we can see the Killjoy utility really delaying things. Akis forced to pop absolutely everything. The turret finally goes down. Akis with the spray what? gets poised. There's more to be had though as he finds Superman as well. And Calypso with all the time in the world to find the kill onto death. And now Sam against the world. Four players to deal with. 40 seconds. Well, it's not going to go his way. Calypso looks so comfortable. Double operator. It's now been revealed. And Dig have to find a response to this now in this following round. Absolutely. Envy's patience on that. Akis not peeking. We saw how sure Dig was ready to run in. Poised had his wall out right here. He took his wall. What are you doing? Guns. Oh, the smoke gave him a false sense of security. Akis makes quick work of that. And Envy's there to clean up. That's beautiful. <laughs> it's actually amazing. Uh, Shanks and Sam, they've got so many kills between one another. 16 yeah, that's, that's so and true. 12. 28 from them. In just 10 rounds. Oh, so we're going to TP across here, some pressure onto the bathroom's position. There's not too much here, though, for Dig to, to actually challenge this. And the operator here is strong, too. And they're just going to take the short A position again. They really seem to be liking this short A pressure. Yeah. And Shanks is all the way wrapped around U-Haul. But Akis just absolutely annihilates him. 
Slowly getting themselves in. The bomb is down now. It's going to be the spike is down. Calypso comes around from showers with a nice op shot to take the death flank away. Envy's already in the site. Can Dig hold this? Well, there goes Poise, there goes that res. Systematically, position by position, Envy wow. are gaining ground towards that spike, and there's no response from Dig. Envy managed to isolate every Dig player into a 1v1 in that entire retake. That's phenomenal. And the, and the sense, the game sense, the cognizance from Calypso in bathrooms to know that he just has to ha hold the angle for slightly longer because a Cypher is going to start lurking, and he, he timed it so well. It's been a swing. Since we saw the Phantom save round in Hookah, it has been a swing for Envy. That's exactly what they needed to do to Dignitas because we saw there was a bankroll there. Good return on investment from Dig's round kept him healthy, and Envy has been able to do the work to knock down that bankroll. Now we can see where it is. Three losses now coming in for the attacking side, 2,900 around, so they should be able to buy some guns on that side of Dignitas next round. But this is big for them to keep members alive here in round 11 on the side of Dig. One of the things I really like as well from Envy here is the fact that they can punish the fact that there's no flashbangs at all on Dig. There's no flashbangs to deal with these operators, that's the true. double operators. That's a really good point. So that's a huge response from Envy to, to try to swing things back in their favor. And we will get that split coming onto the B sites imminently here. Oh, a shock dart for what would be a cypher trap there. I was kind of wondering, no one's there, but he's looking to get the utility out if they are to make a play later. He'll have no trouble. The Cypher Traps are over towards B for Dig. Is a little bit of love sent here towards that site. A great shot from Caboose to open it up. Oh my god, Caboose! Woo! What a round from him so far. Around Elbow, he will go down eventually, but he's done so much, and now Mame looks to do the same, but he is denied, and there goes the Orbital Strike. That's going to create more space here, but Akis lurks in the back holes. It seems to be the case that he snuck around behind enemy lines. He's being searched for now, and Sam has the sense to catch him. And it's, uh, it's the end of the half. 7-5 yep. for Dig, but a good recovery if we consider how badly off Envy were to begin with. Absolutely. Envy able to find a good amount of frags. Calypso doing work for the team. We saw Mummy with the Blade Storm on a few rounds. And Caboose! Oh, Ooh, what a shot. a shot. Oh, my God. Slowly taking it. The smokes don't matter. All to use correctly here. But there's not much that Aikis could do to take that round. Yeah, it seemed like there was a drone that went up short A, which I think faked out mm -hmm. Envy really hard there. They rotated off the B site. Good eye. And we'll see, though, if the dynamic changes. Now we move, we swap sides. Again, we mentioned that uh, Dig don't have flashes, so we'll see if that hurts them on the on the second half. A four stack towards A. This is absolutely going to be a shower push. The camera sees them right away, though. So there are no uh, pushes coming from Bath. That's going to be a rotation over now coming from Cypher. Maybe not, though. Teleport. And they are heading their way towards B. A good rotation coming from NV. But they are going to get stuck here by Finesse. We'll see what he can do. So this or is Death awesome. What a great cam. He could just sit in this for a while, although he's not in a back holes or something. Oh, it's actually a rotation back to A. So, oh, But the spike is making its way to B still. They're going to go through the telly, perhaps? Or what, what is the plan here from, from NV? There's a lot of stuff they can do here, but it looks like they will bring the spike back to the A side. And this is fine as far as their opposition is concerned because they know that they, they got the cam on B. And here goes the challenge now. They know what's going on, trying not to be baited by the boom, but, it, but it's simply too difficult to deal with. I can't believe they lived. Caboose and Mame so low going in on that fight together, but working together to make it happen. Great shot by Superman to answer on the bench. They're trying to retake the site here from the side of Envy. Can they do it? The post plant has Envy super, super low. Dig's getting in. Caboose finds two more. They have literally 50 health combined right now. This is ridiculous that they're alive, and Shanks finds the shots needed. And that's all on to Mummy once again, and he can just play this now, falling back. Oh, the updraft. Yes. He had no HP, though. And there's plenty of time for Death to get the spike defused. The last second choices are questionable here that everybody's trying to do, but they are tight moments. And if he lands on that truck, maybe he does get the shot. But quick shots from Def here. You can't put Def in that position. He will take you down. Eight rounds now for Dignitas as they pick up pistol round here to move into some comfortable spacing on these rounds, eight to five. I was wondering if we would get a force by here from Envy, but they will go for the conservative approach. and. There's the single sheriff on Caboose. Yeah. And a couple ghosts. And that's uh, mostly it. 
We'll have to see what they can cobble together in this eco round. And you can see that U-Haul has been abandoned on the defense there for Dig. And a wall up to grab the orb. Oh, can run, he run. make it through? Looks like he's fine. Poise is okay. But there's that dash towards you. And that's why you don't want to have players playing that defensively. Because that jet, when jet gets closed, and you have to assume it's a shorty, yep. it is painful. Already pushed in. They have U-Haul control, which means they would have been able to get a lot of control over mid but only a few Omen Smokes here. So Teleport is in control of Envy, but they don't want it yet until they find another person, it seems. They're slowly moving in, and Shanks is able to find FNS. Now where they have a little bit of info, the bomb may just go down, but not enough time to make it happen. Methodically, Dignitas just allow Envy to walk in and have all the angles covered as it happens. Yeah, very nicely done. And... Now it's uh, the, the, the kind of uh, separation between these two teams in terms of rounds is starting to get serious. You know, Dig are taking quite the lead. A four rounds lead, three more, and they're suddenly on 12 and very, very comfortable. But we are entering the buy rounds now. So this is where the, both of these teams really start to establish themselves. We get to see this attacking sort of default and what happens with that. But so I'm just going to send an arrow down here. I wonder if they'll peak with this. Down to the long. Oh, they've got the smoke so they can get a pulse and maybe punish with a wall bank, or rather just a. A exactly. kill through the smoke, that is. And there's, there's that early presence from, from Dick. So nothing towards B-Long. Nothing really that they saw towards bathrooms, although now we can see Envy have occupied that position. This, this slow pace of Envy is actually working out. They've avoided a lot of the yeah. shenanigans from the defenders. The safe, aggressive peaks. No return there. Oh, hello. Oh, Caboose, just with that aim right now able to take down Superman. Usually he's on top of those, but Som does trade it back. A quick retribution kill for his teammate as they get a little bit more cover here into the hookah area. Two and two on site, so Dignitas have it pretty much reset on defense if something happens. Look at this see forward. They rotate. Uh, sorry to interrupt. Look You're at this good. forward position from Shanks. He knew that they were mostly towards B here. And oh no, it could have been a huge play out there by himself, but he will get completely exposed. And now we're looking at a very favorable situation moving into the site. And it gets even worse for Dig as Envy take down Poised. And it's, uh, is it safe, a safe scenario here? It's a 2v4 retake. It's looking very hard. Sam wants a piece of the action, but. You can't get more denied than that. Def already pushed through. He seems a bit committed to this one. He may just keep himself alive in U-Haul to exit spawn. He's going to play this one slow. All the jiggle peaks that he can jiggle. And he does just wait it out. I think he's going to exit here towards spawn to save this one for his team. Dig will be 9-6 to Envy after this. As Envy starts to creep up a little bit more in the second half, we're going to start getting a few more ultimates coming up next round as well. We can already see that Envy has that on Caboose as Def tries to drop a few guns. Nicely. I didn't actually think he was going to attempt that, but his exit was teleport if he did make another kill. So I like it still. I like it. Yeah, I completely agree. It's actually, as you say, like with the TP, it's such a nice play as mm -hmm. he's safe. And they can't punish him when he comes out the other end. Um, and so, yeah, that was, that was a really interesting round. The trade in Hookah was so fantastic for MV. If you can get a four, if you can you know, trade a one for one as the attackers, it's very favorable if you've done your homework and yep. have a good IGL who knows how to call those mid rounds and understands the defender rotations. So. Looking, looking good to get back on the board immediately after that uh, opening gun round from Envy. We'll have to see if they keep the pace slow as it was in the previous round, though. Looks like they may try to farm this orb in A. Slowly working it. They have committed camera here a few times. Bomb's also working towards A, so we can expect an end at this site. But for now, it's just kind of waiting out this push from Dick. That has happened every round, this time without smoke, this time without a camera. And the turret's enough to make Death back away smartly and not play that one greedy. Some pressure on bathrooms as well with the forward yep. camera, which will, of course, be traded out by Superman and a re-smoke force there as well. But he, he can't really know what's behind this. And so it's a little bit scary. He walks across at a, at a time where he gets tagged ever so slightly. And we, we can see now that MVR are rotating away. So yeah, just so keeping that pressure it. on and the global smokes, as you say, with Omen is, is so powerful to just keep presence everywhere and keep things hard to guess for the defenders. This push by Brim lets them know that that smoke from Omen on U-Haul is not that effective. Nobody's here with me. I don't see anything. We already see the rotation now coming in from Poise, from A to B oh, to put cam. two more B. Now the Sova, now everybody else. And we'll see how Envy reacts. 
They just got the entire push just got spotted by the cam, so they're going for that last wow. desperation play back to the A side. But the question is, do they have the time for this? <gasps> Interestingly though, Dig don't actually have a rotation there just yet. And Oh my word! Oh my god, this is a problem. This is a problem. They're gonna get a spike planted. Superman has to hold on to the bathroom's position here, and in so doing, he can keep the rotation safe for his teammate through the telly, and out he goes now to see if he can find anything. The retakes have been pretty great for both teams this game, but can it happen? The full 5v5. Jet alts on both sides for that blade storm. Superman takes down FNS as he plays the default corner in Cubby. The first kill coming in on the retake as it's answered back by Caboose. Now it's trying to work U-Haul as Dig looks to get back in a post plan. And there we go, Shanks. Kicks off the action there, taking down Caboose. There's that pressure. Trying to get oh. that defuse in, and that's going to send the attackers back forward to try to get an angle. And it's being defended here. Mummy is too many players in front of him. And that's going to be the defuse, I think, just in the nick of time coming through. And wow, what a close round there. That looked like Envy had a chance despite being spotted, despite call calling the panic rotation with yeah. 30 seconds on the clock. But Dig do recover nicely. Yeah, Looking really, good. really nice job at getting back and waiting for each other. They didn't try to just come out of sp that spawn vent area, wrap into U-Haul, wrap to the side. We saw them come out, extend all the way past default green bomb boxes, put somebody in the middle of the site, and have arrows going into U-Haul. So it gave Envy multiple things to look at instead of those set angles they figured somebody be flanking here or here. It was an, a great site retake. Defense now inside Hookah coming in from Dig. We'll see if this pays off. I like the wall there as well. Yeah, quick Kuka. wall, actually. It really slows things down. If if Envy were looking for a faster split, it kind of staggers the, the attack. Mm -hmm. And as an attack, you want to hit both sides at the same time, and that prevents them from doing so. And there's just presence and pressure here. They, I don't know if Shanks can actually hear the turret. I think you have to be closer to hear it. And there's uh, Sam getting some information with the drone, seeing that mo that it's pretty much totally clear at this point. So if Envy are going to go for a faster timing, it's A right now as far as Digger concerned. But we'll have to see if they can confirm that, because as we can see, there's still a lot of movement here from Envy yeah. as they continue to create pressure and just make things look obscure as obscure as they can. Brim ultimates there for Dig. The retake is very much a possibility, but we're looking at KJ, that Killjoy ultimate for the side of Envy. Looks like it might be tried to put down somewhere near Garden. Shots here coming out of Shanks. Possibly just misses. Oh, he hit the wall, but he keeps himself alive. And the rush hookah's coming in. Spectre shots the hit, and Song finds his aim, and it is two down as he takes them. Shanks answers on long, and it is another one. Just Calypso left. What can he do? Not too much as Poise is ready and waiting. That is so crazy. What a great play there on the defense. That's just the skill coming out from Dig. It felt like Envy outplayed them in certain respects in terms of the rotations like, and also forcing the shot out from, from Shanks. He got completely baited there by that cam and then they peaked with the cam. It's kind of like a poor man's flashbang effectively to bring the operator off of the position. And then that's a Spectre. That's not even a Phantom from Psalm. Just the overperformance here, or it feels like from the individuals of Dig really showed, just showed up so massively in that round. What a shot there as well. Only seen a fraction of his arm through that smoke, through the, the shadow. There you see, obviously, Killjoy in her turret towards the back. We won't give too much for now. You know that turret's going to be there and a lot of time for Envy on the round. The save means they're going to try to get some funky picks in as we see Shanks taking down Calypso here. And obviously, I think Dig should feel um, empowered to push this round, not let Envy get too much or even close to the site to get some bomb plant money. Yeah, they're just looking so hot right now. There it is. Sam's going to drop Caboose with ease, and there's all, not all that much left here, of course. It is just pistols. Here, yeah, Envy, they'll put all the marbles into the, the following rounds, mm -hmm. and they want to do so with a full, the fullest of buys. Shanks there. He's going to be able to take down <laughs> Finesse, so no one survives. Got to love the little dart. It's like, I still got you. Five alts for Dig. Things just seem like they're going too well, DDK. Yeah. Yeah, that, wow. that, that's a display of, of just like how easy it's been, right? Just mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. they haven't even needed to use yeah. their abilities almost. It's just when it comes down to it, they're just hitting all the shots. I feel like we're just going to have a bunch of X's at the beginning of this round. Just tons of shouting. It's <laughs> all, all, all over the place. Shanks we'll see. 28 kills. That's crazy, actually. He's it, looking to get the 30 bomb in this it's, round. It's an <laughs> ebb and flow for him. We talked about how him opening up a round means Dignitas is flying high. If he doesn't, 
it, it makes a bit of a difference. Here down to 11 HP, they think he might try to peek over the wall, and he's still standing strong right behind there to take out a shot. I love the audacity of this guy. It's so crazy because we've seen him mess up so many of these tailwinds out of there, but still he lives. <laughs> and here there goes the paranoia, and he's just out there. He's so confident, and Kaboo straight into the ice orb manages to easily deal with poise. Oh, death though, coming up huge to even up the numbers here, but it is going to be all on Psalm in the one versus two. Envy need, of course, they need this round to prevent their opposition from yep. taking map one. And Psalm, he's been damn good so far. He's got a recon arrow, he's got some shock darts. And he's got full armor, so there's definitely a world where Sam, if he's smart, can pull this one off. He's making all the noise in the world, though, and Caboose, that's too easy for him. Envy, stay alive for yet one more round, but for how long can they keep themselves alive and in this bind, this right. game of bind? Absolutely. And I want to go over Shanks going down there as well. A really aggressive position. We love to see that all the time. It's fun to watch. But knowing you're against an omen, knowing what a default who could take is, means you're probably going to be blind. So a, a few more thoughts there, and he probably would have been outside the site, back of the site, and providing more help as the round went on. So getting a bit caught out there as Shanks tried to play aggressive towards Envy. 12-7, to 7, though, dig on match point. So they're feeling loose. Maybe put yourself in that position to end the game there and then. As we start off this round, round 20, still a lot of ultimates, eight across both teams, four and four. As they lose one, Caboose does not get the showstopper. And that's 29 kills for Shanks now looking for that 30 <laughs> bomb. Is he going to get it? As we see the jiggling coming through, the drone should surely bait a shot out from the operator. And in fact, it will be dealt with by the Phantom. And there's the operator P. Shanks actually catches a lot of damage there onto his opponent. So that's really nice. He's probably saying it again. 149? How do you do 149? <laughs> <laughs> Hits his shots, but just off and through the wall on that one. A minute left. Envy running down the clock a bit on these rounds to pressure Dignitas, and they've been responding perfectly. You can run the clock down, but the bomb kind of resets it, right, DDK? Everybody gets a chance to get back into sight and have a little time to play. 44 seconds now on the clock is another rotation coming over from Superman, maybe. He's cheating back and forth on sites, and I think the smoke may pull him over. Yeah, Calypso has that ult available as well. I have to see what Calypso is doing to keep that rotation on the B yeah. side as we get Psalm taking down Calypso straight away, so never mind. <laughs> and we get the Killjoy lockdown dropped down as the Orbital Strike will try to deny that forward position on short. And so this is going to be ult for ult effectively, allowing Shanks out onto the site. Catches Finesse. That's the 30th kill now as he looks for more. Daggers coming out. And will he go for the updraft? Playing close, looking for the right click here. Will they challenge the cloud burst? There it is. Trying to deny the plant. Death taking the frag. Jumping down with the operator. And it's going to be Superman to finish it off. But importantly, Shanks got his study bomb. Yes, and 37 did. to dig. What a game. There it is. 30, 13, and 3 for Shanks. I'm sure he was laughing all the way to the bank on that one. And what a game from the opera once again. The trial player here for Dignitas coming back in. They're in the lower bracket here. This is elimination potential. So they need to they need to put up a good game. And first one felt pretty good on their map choice. Yeah, and I feel like that's this is how the series has to go for it to be close. I think Dig needed to win. Bind is one of their best maps. And uh, moving forwards, I think it, it's uh, I think we're going to have a really really exciting matchup now. I think the rest of the maps will be really just neck and neck.